For this example, we're being asked to find the domain and range of this absolute value function here. So we don't have to have the graph, but, but the graph might help here. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to have the parent function, the, the normal absolute value of x graph, the v-shaped graph, and it's going to be translated left three units and down two units. This is a horizontal translation since it's inside the absolute value. This is a vertical translation or a vertical shift because it's outside the absolute value. So um, just by looking at the function, even without the graph, we can see that the new vertex is going to be at negative 3 comma negative 2. And I can graph it as well. So we go left 1, 2, 3 units, and then down 2 units, 1, 2. So that, that normal V-shaped graph that used to look like that will now be moved down here. Okay, so it looks something like this. Okay, so what is this guy's domain and range? Well, the domain is a, is a, is a gimme, it's a freebie. Um, automatically, just because it's the absolute value function, the domain is going to be all real numbers. So minus infinity to infinity. Now, how did I know that so fast? There's no x that I couldn't take the absolute value of. So this the absolute value function causes no problems. I, I would never get division by zero. Um, I would never have a negative under a square root because there's not a square root and there is no division. And so if it's just a, an absolute value type function, the domain will be all real numbers. All right, now what about the range though? Well, the range will be some from some y value up or some y value down depending on if the V-shaped graph opens upward or downward. Ours opens upward, so ours will be Y greater than or equal to some certain Y value. If you look at the graph, it looks like it's higher than about this Y value. Now, where is this Y value right here? Well, notice that's just dictated by the vertex. And so, like I said, even without the graph, you can just think about where the vertex is, in this case, negative two negative 3 comma negative 2 but I'm I'm concerned about the y value obviously being that this is the range and so the range will be all the y values above or greater than negative 2 and so that'll be your final answer so notice you know even if we didn't have this graph right here you know as long as you could look at this function and see where the vertex was then and, and you knew if the graph opened up or down then you would just say the domain is all real numbers and the range is y greater than or equal to negative 2 right here.